molten rock can cool above or below ground. For example, here in Hawaii, the molten rock from Kilauea's ongoing eruption reaches the ocean to form new lava rock. You can see the plume of volcanic gases where the lava reaches the water. To take a closer look, you can take a boat tour out to the plume. The lava that reaches the south shore of the Big Island creates inches of new lava rock to the island each day. When the surf hits the molten lava, it can tear away pieces which then float on the ocean surface. Since the molten lava is less dense than water, the pieces of lava float on the ocean surface. When the lava completely cools, it will become more dense than water and sink to the ocean floor or be washed up onto a beach. Igneous rock that forms above ground, like the rock shown here, is called extrusive igneous rock, meaning above ground. Intrusive igneous rock is igneous rock that forms below ground without ever reaching the Earth's surface. Here a lava tube formed underground, so you can find some intrusive igneous rock in this lava tube. The entrance to this lava tube formed when the ground caved in, providing access to miles of underground lava tube pathways. Some of the molten rock that cooled in the cracks of the underground rocks or along the sides of the lava tube would be considered intrusive igneous rock. The molten rock that traveled through the lava tube to eventually reach an exit point, like shown at the beach, would be considered extrusive igneous rock.